So folks, don't be focusing too much on the fact of uh, the stormy or pattern. Uh, later in the week, we've got a pretty significant, uh, very, very windy day across Ireland and the UK through, for, uh, through Tuesday. But skipping ahead through the sequence, you can see here that the isobar is remaining pretty tightly packed. If not, actually, they could be shrinking even more, suggesting even stronger westerly winds. But we're skipping through 60 hours, 63 hours. Notice, folks, how a, a more singular area of low pressure develops. You lose the, the multiple uh, low pressure centers. And that, folks, is a 958 millibar low. Very, very strong winds across the majority of Scotland. And this is for Wednesday. So very, very widely windy on Tuesday. Then by, Friday, uh, by Wednesday, sorry, I'm getting my, my days mixed up here. <laughs> I apologize for that. Look at, at Scotland and Northern Ireland, as well as many parts of the Northwestern and the Republic. You've got very, very strong winds over Scotland, so it could be a very stormy day, even by Wednesday. And skipping through the sequence again, you can see here the winds blowing hard. Then the winds continuing to blow hard Scotland to ease off somewhat, but uh, I'm going to skip right through to 102 hours, which is later on Thursday. This here, folks, is the system that has me very, very concerned. Notice how strong and how deep this centre is. It's a 952 in millibar. You can see here that this would be by Thursday. Very strong winds blowing across Ireland and Northern Ireland. Very, very powerful west, or sorry, southwest or southerly gales blowing. And this could be causing disruption across the board. And notice here as well, across particularly the southwest of England, pushing into the West Midlands, across Wales, and wind slightly lighter up by Scotland. Still windy, of course, but not as strong as these areas. Then, uh, later on in, in the period, we've got a very, very powerful 948 millibar low. Ireland, folks, is looking as if this could be a very, very strong storm. One of the strongest, perhaps, in perhaps 10, maybe even longer, 10 years or longer. And uh, I would certainly be very concerned, folks, if I lived in Ireland. I know I've got many, many viewers uh, in this part of the world, and folks, I would really take caution here. This is by early on Friday. This center of low pressure, that's now 944 millibars. Very concerning. You can hardly distinguish the spacing between these isobars. And I think, to be honest with you, you could be talking 90 miles per hour or greater across a very large area. This could be one that shuts down Ireland. It could be one that produces widespread 100 mile per hour winds across Ireland. And as well as that, folks, look at all over the UK. We've got very tightly packed isobars. This here, folks, is the core of the strongest winds, and that will be centered over the majority of the Republic of Ireland in the southern parts, southern provinces of Northern Ireland. But if you notice, this center is basically sitting over Port Rush in Northern Ireland. That means to say, you are not going to see the strongest winds, but to the south of that, folks, all hell will be breaking loose to the south of that centre. And that centre, of course, is taking aim at Northern Ireland and into across the North uh, the Irish Sea. Shipping, you can guarantee if that plays out, will be shut down because you're going to be talking about tremendous seas and uh, into uh, Wales as well. Skipping through the sequence as well, uh, you can see here the 944 millibar low sitting directly over the central belt of Scotland. So therefore, although you're going to have strong easterly gales blowing across Scotland, that would, to me, suggest very heavy snowfall, very cold winds getting dragged in off the near continent into northern and uh, uh, central Scotland, the central highlands, the majority of the central belt in towards uh, Dumfries and Galloway, and lighter winds, but certainly to the south of the centre, from, say, uh, you know, Cumbria, south through to Cheshire, Lincolnshire, you have got hurricane force winds widely. 
and you skip ahead through 117 hours. Look at that there, folks. This is for late in the day on Friday, and 942 millibargo. So that low pressure center has deepened, but notice the direction of the winds are blowing out of the north and northeast. That would suggest to me from the north coast right down through to the, the southern Midlands, right down towards the south of England, folks. Do not be surprised if this was to play out you would be talking about pretty substantial snowfall all the way down to perhaps Oxfordshire in England. So a very, very active time, folks, and I uh, will continue to try and keep you up, date, up to date as much as possible. So continue to stay tuned and stay focused on this impending weather situation. Bye for now.